Hi, Adam. Yep, we're just uh, updating the uh, the latest on the maps over there, and I can tell you we've got some dry conditions right now on top of us. Maybe a few uh, sprinkles here and there, but generally speaking, most of the heavier rainfall has pushed away, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Again, that rain was uh, heavy from time to time this afternoon across parts of our area, but as we uh, take in a little closer, again, a few sprinkles out there. That's mainly about it. I think for the rest of the evening tonight, mainly cloudy skies here across the region. But take a look at the big picture. This is the front that moved through our area and it's going to hang around here for a while. And we're going to watch a series of disturbances kind of slide right over it. They're going to be in the upper atmosphere and kick off some of that rain and reinforce some of that rain. But you'll notice pretty dry conditions right now, but it's not going to take much. We've got a lot of energy out there and we'll get that rain going here by tomorrow morning. How much rain have we seen though in the last 24 hours? You can see almost a third of an inch here in Waco. Same story up in the Hillsborough area, area, not quite as much down toward Temple, and you can see only about a tenth of an inch over toward the Killeen area, but I do want to show you that some spots, like over toward Mejia, had very close to three quarters of an inch of rain. Temperatures now been holding steady. Again, we topped out in the upper 60s, but of course that was shortly after midnight. We spent most of the day today in the 40s, and we're at 43 degrees at this hour. 44 right now in Temple, and you'll notice what's going to happen overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. We're going to keep it cloudy, and here comes that moisture. As promised, another little wave of rain moves our way. So for the morning commute, and we've been talking about this, yeah, you might want to pack the umbrella as well as leave a few minutes early because that rain's going to be tracking right across us, right over the lunchtime period, and most of that rainfall, it's not going to be severe, but parts of it could be heavy from time to time as it moves through our area and then by later on tonight or I should say Tuesday night into Wednesday look at that some heavier rainfall begin to push in so looks like the heaviest rainfall here late Tuesday into Wednesday as that system uh, begins to finally pull away this is seven o'clock in the morning on Wednesday a very good chance of some rain and then that finally starts to exit I do think by the afternoon hours we're going to start to see some drier conditions with some clouds and temperatures by the way mainly in the 50s, which is still below average. How much rainfall? Let's take you overnight throughout the day on Tuesday and throughout the day on Wednesday. We we're seeing here two and a half inches in Waco, close to three in Gatesville, as well as on passes, close to two in Colleen and Temple. So you get the trend here. We've got a lot of rain in the forecast here over the next 24 to 36 hours. So some localized flooding can't be ruled out. The ground's pretty uh, soggy right now, but we'll keep a very close eye on that. There are no watches or warnings or advisories right now, but we'll see how it looks by the afternoon on Wednesday. For tonight, though, cloudy skies, periods of rain, 41 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, again, umbrella weather with periods of rain, possibly a thunderstorm, but no severe weather expected. 46 degrees will be the high temperature. And then as we look ahead here, take a look at Louisiana Crab Shack seven day forecast. We are looking at temperatures for the most part, staying in the 50s on Wednesday and Thursday. The good news is we dry out for Friday and Friday night. It's gonna be a busy night. That's Valentine's, don't forget. The weekend, not bad, 60 on Saturday, 68 on Sunday with our another system moving in. Sunday into Monday, and of course, Monday is President's Day. Temperatures there are very close to 70 degrees. In Bryan and College Station, again, on again, off again rain for the next couple of days. Not a washout, but just pay attention. We could see some heavier rain in those low-lying areas. Dry on Thursday and Friday, and then as we hit the weekend, there's rain chances in there, but wouldn't cancel any plans with temperatures in the 60s and 70s.